It's the Daily 304's presentation of famous people, places, and events that shaped West Virginia. Welcome to the History Project. Today we take a look at Bill Blizzard in Part 5 of the West Virginia Mine Wars. Bill Blizzard came from a family for whom activism was a way of life, after they were one of many who were evicted from their homes during the 1912 strike at Cabin Creek and forced to move into a tent camp. After Baldwin Feltz's detectives attacked the families by shooting up their tent city, his mother, Sarah, responded by tearing up railroad tracks to prevent the hired guns from further destruction, earning her the wrathful nickname, Ma Blizzard. Bill Blizzard himself became a miner at only 10 and worked alongside his father. Charismatic and articulate, he was so effective addressing miners' issues that he was elected to leadership in the United Mine Workers when he was only 19. He would be put to the test immediately, as in that same year, the Maitwan Massacre and its aftermath sparked what would become the Battle of Blair Mountain in Logan County. It was during this conflagration that Bill Blizzard would rise among the miners and all their defenders, as he became their final official leader in the mine wars. He organized the men into an army, helped them to procure guns and ammunition, and led them like a general. After the mine wars ended, Blizzard stayed in the UMW until a final row with its president, John L. Lewis. He retired to a farm in Putnam County and died three years later at the age of 65. In his lifetime, Bill Blizzard did not weather the storm. Instead, he lived up to the family name, demanding respect and becoming the creator of the storm.